Hey guys, um, so right now we got some dual recording going on. I wanted to, it's really windy outside. Uh, it's actually like super, like crazy windy that it's insane. Um, it's minus 20 here with the wind chills. Um, and that is effing cold, bro. So, um, I thought maybe you're not going to see really that much action probably going on outside, but, um, there's just, it's, I don't know. I mean, it's still, it's snowing, but not a lot. And I figured sometimes I get bored of just doing the regular videos. So I figured you never know. I might be able to catch something really, really cool on camera. <laughs> you never know. It's happened before. So anyway, um, today I'm going to be doing a video on, um, well, I, I asked the people what they wanted and they wanted to do me to do an Ask Melissa because we haven't done one in a long time. And uh, that's completely fine with me because I love doing them and we we honestly haven't done it in a long time. That's what she said. <laughs> so I asked you guys to ask me some questions and I'm going to go through um, some of the questions that you guys either tweeted me, inboxed me, sent to my Facebook or my Instagram. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get to them. Um, now there are a lot of questions, so I'm not going to do that many, but I'm going to pick the ones that I really haven't talked about before, um, or stuff like that. So, okay. Number one. Do you have any YouTubers that you look up to? I do. Um, I look up to Hannah Hart. Like, I love her. She's like a huge inspiration to me. Um, I really want us to collab together one day. I don't know when, but I really have been trying to get in touch with her because I want to do a collaboration video with her. Um, probably either a My Drunk Kitchen um, or just something in general. I just really, really look up to her and would love to do a video with her. Um, and I also like Grace Helbig. So those two are like my main two people, I guess. Um, and that would also be, there's also who is your favorite um, YouTuber. I don't really have favorites, but Hannah and Grace, um, they are both probably the most that I, I watch their videos the most out of any other YouTuber. Um, what do you think you would be doing as a job if YouTube didn't exist? Well, I do have two other jobs. I nanny and I also am a tattoo model. So I do those things as well. I guess if I didn't have those jobs and YouTube didn't exist, um, I probably would be like a photographer or something. I really love... Um, catching things on film. I love taking pictures and all that stuff. So um, I really think I probably would do something like that. I don't know. What are some crazy YouTube moments you've had? <laughs> well, I think every YouTuber has crazy moments. Um, you know, we got to love when we make these videos and then we go to record or we go to upload them and it keeps failing. YouTube fails us over and over and over. So sometimes a video can take like days before it will actually upload. Not all the time, but there are several times where I've went, I've went to go upload my video and um, it, it like goes on for hours and it's like a short video. So that can really be really aggravating for me and a lot of the other YouTube people as well. Um, even though it is our job, we do just kind of want to, you know, get it up there and, and have it be seen by you guys and stuff like that. Um, what is your favorite game? My favorite game? I don't know if you mean like a game on like the Wii or Nintendo or anything like that. Um, or like a board game. So I'm just going to answer all of them. I love anything that has to do with moving around <laughs> on the Wii. Um, so they have a lot of games now where you don't have to even like move. You can just hold the controller and not even get up. But I like to be able to get up and like punch things. I love boxing. Um, I think that's a fun game. 
on Nintendo, I used to love Mario and all that. Like, those are the true ass 90 games that were so fun. And now they're just not here anymore, and it's sad. <laughs> um, and as a board game, I really like Scrabble, even though I suck at it. <laughs> or I like Monopoly. It can be a long and drawn-out game, but I really do like it. Okay, um, how long have you been making YouTube videos for? I have been making YouTube videos for since 2006, possibly 2005. Yeah, so 2006, so what, we're, we're six and six, 12, eight years. I've been making videos for. Maybe even nine. Okay. Um, do you have any favorite videos that you've uploaded? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I have so many. Um, I like a lot of my funny ones, but I also like the ones where I'm more serious and I talk to you guys and give advice because I love giving advice. I just love helping you guys as, as much as I can. Um, why did you start YouTube? Honestly, I started YouTube because it was more for myself. I started making videos and I loved doing it. And I just, I had fun with it. And I didn't realize that my channel would get so much feedback and so many people would like what I was like, um, doing videos on. So I pretty much started just for myself to talk and um, talk about some things that I've went through. And then in return, it ended up getting a lot of people say, oh my God, thank you for this video. You know, I relate to it and it helped me and all this and that. So I guess therefore that then made me realize that I'm going to keep doing this because I'm helping people and I didn't know that when I first started. I thought, you know, it was just something that I was doing for fun. But deep down, people really liked it. So I stayed with it. And here I am today. <laughs> um, do you have a girlfriend? I do not. Um, I'm single. So, you know, applications <laughs> apply. At your own risk, I guess. But no, I am single. I have been single for too long. <laughs> There's a lot of questions in here that ask about my marriage that I don't really want to talk about. I'm not married, so you guys know that. So let's just leave it at that. Um, what social medias do you use? That's a good one. Um, I use... Twitter, Instagram, I have Pinterest, I have Tumblr, and Facebook. But I don't really use Tumblr that much. I mainly am on Instagram the most, so you should follow me on there. Um, then Pinterest, I love Pinterest. I just like pinning pictures and shit. Um, so I'm on there. And then my Facebook. So that's pretty much what I'm on. Um, so if you want to follow me on any of those social media sites, the link will be in the down bar. And yeah, they're always in the down bar. But if you don't want to look, I just told you. <laughs> um. How long have you been a vegetarian for? And would you recommend it to other people? I've been a vegetarian since I was 12. And yes, um, people think that just because I'm not eating meat, that I'm not eating healthy. And actually that's false because, you know, there are certain meats that are not healthy for you. And there are a lot of meats that are healthy for you, but, but, since I don't agree to eating meat because of animals, therefore, 
there are meat substitutes out there that I eat. So I'm still getting the protein and, you know, fiber and all that stuff that I need with the meat substitutes. And they taste just as good. I mean, it's, it's not bad. I like it. And, you know, I mean, I've been doing it since I was 12. So, um, so yeah. I do not have a MySpace. That's funny. I used to, though. I, I, I probably, you know what? I probably still do. It's probably there. I don't even think I know. I'm actually going to look into that, though. I don't, I don't even know what my picture is or anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> okay. I'm going to the second page because some of these questions I've already answered. Okay, this page took me to a weird Bandai site. <laughs> I don't know how to get back. Okay. Don't be spamming me, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um... Would you ever date a fan? I've gotten this question a lot. I would. I would. Um, if I was single, well, I am single, but if I was single and they were single, and we got along and there was chemistry there. Absolutely. I would give it a try. You know, I'm always willing to try everything for the first time, at least. Um. <laughs> Okay, I have a lot of dares in here. Mm. Did you ever cut classes when you were in school? And if so, have you ever gotten caught? <laughs> I did, and I did. Um, God, I haven't been in school in so, so, so long. But I always cut classes. But don't cut classes. I just was really bad in school, and I was failing all the time. So I did cut classes and I always, I didn't always get caught, but I got caught a lot and it was just stupid. I shouldn't have done it. Um, I just shouldn't have, but I did. But we all make mistakes and, you know. Mm. Yes, I have siblings. Someone asked me, how, how do I get the person I like to go out with me? And, you know, I have actually made a video on that before. So if you want, you can head on over there and check it out. And I give you some advice slash tips on how to get that person that you like to ask you out. Or you can ask them out. But I did do a video on that. Um, so they it should be up there somewhere. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but it's there. Okay. Does YouTube make you happy? It does. I love it. What is your favorite cuss word? I would have to say fuck. I say fuck a lot. And Minga is that in Italian. So I do say it a lot. Probably more than I should. But whatever. Don't judge me. Mm-hmm. What are things you like to do alone? Um, I like to read. I like to watch certain TV shows. Um, I like to kind of just surf the web for random things. I like to spend time with my cat. That's what she said. Um, what makes you laugh the hardest? I guess who can ever tell the funniest joke? <laughs> No, um, I don't know. I guess I would have to say that. I mean, it really depends on the situation and stuff like that. Have you ever broken a bone? I have. My ankle. My leg. And some fingers. Do I impress you? 
I don't. I yeah, sure you do. Who was your fa favorite cartoon character as a child? Um, I really liked the Rugrats, and I really, really liked the Snorks or the Snorkels. But I really liked them. I really liked Tommy. He was like the the dude. He was like awesome, and I really liked him a lot. So. What is the dumbest question you've ever been asked? Um, eh, okay. To me, the dumbest question that I've ever been asked is whether or not I was a boy or a girl. And I've gotten that asked so many times that to me, it doesn't even begin to make sense anymore. Because I feel, oh, I must dropped you. Um, because I just feel like, look at my features for a minute. Okay. I have very high cheekbones. I didn't pay for them. These are real. <laughs> um, I have very, very girly features in my face. And my voice is extremely girlish as well. So when someone asks me if if I'm a girl or a boy, um, I'm kind of inclined to be like, you figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think that was the most dumbest question I've ever received. And it's getting dark in here. So I'm going to go, guys. Um, thank you for sending me in your questions. Um, I know I said before I was going to do this like every so-and-so day or whatever, but I keep forgetting. You have to remind me. But other than that, I'm going to go. I love you guys. Peace and love. Be cool. Be kind. Don't judge. Don't judge my answers. My answers. Oh, and I just did a contest on Instagram um, doing the first uh, 20 people that followed me or subscribed to me on YouTube would get a sign something from me. So it's only fair if I did it here as well. Um, so the first 20 to 25 people that follow me on Instagram will get something signed by me as well. I don't know what yet, but if you go and do it, then you'll find out. And also when you do it, um, just... Click on my latest picture and just say done or like, you know, you followed me or whatever. And this way I'll know. Um, but other than that, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys soon. And hopefully it's not looking like that out by your house because it's icy and it's 20 below zero. Or, anyway, I love you guys so much. Bye.